It's becoming so much more acceptable to have visible tattoos on your hands now. But does that mean that tattooers are obligated to tattoo your hands just because you can get that done? A few years ago, this video by Inked Magazine went viral because absolutely no one agreed with this tattoo artist's opinion. If you don't have anything on your arms, I'm probably not gonna tattoo your hands. If you don't have a chest piece, I'm probably not gonna go for your throat or your neck. And this is a pretty typical tattoo artist's opinion, but a lot of younger people are coming into the tattoo industry and they're wondering why they can't get these visible tattoo placements without spending years tattooing their entire body first. We really gatekeeping tattoo placements now. Ah yes, having someone else make choices for my body. Like, why are y'all doing everything but your job? And there's another Inked video responding to some of these comments, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But really quickly, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare has classes on a wide variety of topics, including illustration, graphic design, film and video, music production, marketing, web development, social media, and so much more. I love working with Skillshare. I use the Skillshare platform easily on a weekly basis. I know that if there's anything I want to learn more about, I can just type it into Skillshare and find a really great class on that. Say you want to develop skills in your own career or even start a new side hustle. Skillshare has so many incredible classes for you. I've personally wanted to get better at editing my YouTube videos. So I went onto Skillshare and I found this class. It's called YouTube Video Editing, Develop Your Signature Style, and it's taught by Becky Peckham. I've learned so many great tips and tricks from Skillshare, and I apply them every single day. So if you are interested in everything that Skillshare has to offer, the first 500 people to click my link in the description box down below will get a free one month trial to Skillshare Premium. So thank you so much to Skillshare, now back to the video. Here's that next inked TikTok. This whole movement about the uh, hand tattoos, neck tattoos, face tattoos, and not a single tattoo anywhere else, like I, like, I can't even have a conversation with you. I can't. Because the fact that you comprehend being tattooed or being associated with being tattooed or the tattoo culture, and you don't have enough right experience getting tattooed, but you are in a position to just have a job stopper like that, like I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm all the way good. Yeah. So this is tattooer Anthony Michaels, who I believe won Ink Master at one point, and no one agreed with this take. Never understood why tattoos in a certain place is anyone's business but your own. I don't want to be a part of tattoo culture. Give me what I pay for and don't judge me for it. And this comment is really interesting to me. Someone said, society's attitude to people with tattoos is changing. You should be happy that there are less repercussions to having visible tattoos, not bitter, lol. There is kind of a sense of bitterness with these older tattooers who are seeing younger people want to start with their hands or start with their neck or start with their face. And while I don't necessarily agree with this take, I do understand where these tattoo artists are coming from. They grew up in a society that really stigmatized having tattoos. And not only that, it's their career path that was also heavily stigmatized for so long. And they had to work really hard not only to be legitimate in their career, but also they had to work really hard in order to prove themselves as a tattooed person. And what that used to mean is you would get most of your body tattooed before you would get visible spots of your body tattooed. So they went through so many difficult stages to get where they're at now being heavily tattooed people. And they are probably feeling bitter about younger people skipping everything that they went through. But unfortunately, that's just a product of our culture coming around to accepting tattoos. And like that last comment said, shouldn't they be happy, not bitter? It's really interesting to me to see both sides of this argument, like tattooers who don't want to do it and people who just want tattoos. And they're just trying to pay for small tattoos on their body, wherever they feel like they want the tattoo. The shop that I've been apprenticing at is definitely a traditional tattoo shop. And there's been many people that have come in wanting hand tattoos or face tattoos as their first tattoo. And inevitably they're gonna get the talk. The talk is gonna include what do you do for your work? Why do you want this tattoo? Why do you want it in such a visible place? Do you have any other tattoos? 
And I can understand as a client that can feel really judgmental. Like you have to justify your decisions to someone you don't even know, or you have to justify your life choices to someone you don't even know, and you're trying to pay them for a service. Many tattooers are gonna have many different opinions on if people should get hand tattoos as their first tattoos. But as I approach becoming a tattoo artist myself, my main concern is honestly that you would hate it. Like you would get it and then hate it because you're not used to having tattoos yet. And it seems like a lot of younger people are jumping into getting tattooed on their hands just like how they would jump into any other tattoo. But I think it's very different with your hands because you literally look at them every single day. And getting a tattoo anywhere on your body can be kind of a jarring experience for your first time, seeing your body in a completely different way. And to have that in an incredibly visible area, it is honestly jarring. Here's a video that says, never impulsively get a hand tattoo as your first tattoo at 18. And it's this traditional rose that's being lasered off of this person's hand. And you might even see that rose tattoo and think like, that's a pretty tattoo. I don't know why they would want that removed. But the fact of the matter is that regret is a big part of a lot of people's experience when they started getting tattooed at 18. So when you're starting with these highly visible areas, the stakes are a lot higher than if you just regret a tiny little tattoo on your leg as your first tattoo. So I just got a new tattoo and I regret it. I I absolutely regret it. Okay, so basically on Sunday, I went to a KVD event and they were giving out flash tattoos. And I cannot say no to a tattoo on the spot, right? The flash tattoo, there was a lot of options. I'll insert a picture right here for you to see. I really wanted like another hand tattoo because I really don't know where else I wanna put a tattoo on my body right now besides a big piece. I chose a flower. Last minute, the tattoo artist was like, you want it there? And I was like, no so then i was like okay wait let me just get the cherries it was like okay yeah it'll be so cute like it'll be so cute because i have another tattoo right here right so then i'm sitting there him tattooing me already and i can't just say like stop right so i'm gonna stop her there because you absolutely can say stop and you should say stop if you feel that way i'm like yeah oh my gosh i'm so excited for this cherry tattoo now I have to lie to people and say that cherries are my favorite fruit because why would I tattoo on myself? Unless I- okay, actually, I don't have to lie. I can just be for real and say I don't like cherries. I just don't know why I got it. This is the most meaningless tattoo ever. I just... So if you take her experience, it seems like she was pressured into getting that tattoo on her hand. And that's not an experience that anyone should have. When I've helped with flash events at the tattoo shop, we do arms and legs only. Because when you're doing a flash event, these are like impulsive tattoos. You're not putting a lot of thought. Everyone gets tattoos from a flash sheet. It's really quick decisions. So you don't want to make those quick decisions on important places of your body. And if you think about it from the other side, if the tattoo artist had said, no, I can't tattoo your hand, there might be people being like, well, it's my body, I wanna do whatever I want. But that tattooer excluding hands would prevent situations like this from happening. And honestly, from her video, this doesn't seem like a great tattoo artist at all, especially changing the design last minute. This just sounds like not a great tattoo artist, to be honest. I feel like there's this cliche response to wanting your hands or your face tattooed first in that tattooers don't think that you've earned those placements. And this definitely gets a lot of people riled up and they don't understand why they have to earn that. In this TikTok video by Spitting Ink Pro, they listed out a bunch of reasons to consider before getting your hand tattooed and the last reason had a lot of people fired up in the comments. Number five, there's an unspoken rule in the industry when getting your hands or neck done. Usually you want most of your body tattooed before you hit any of those spots, otherwise you just look like a cloud chaser. <laughs> So you might be able to see why people were upset by that. He definitely has his opinion. People in the comments said, if a tattoo artist agrees with number five, red flag. Get tattooed wherever you like, life's too short. If you wanna start on your neck or hands, go for it, bro. It's your body, you can choose where you get your first tat. It's really not that big of a deal, people just mad. So why are Gen Z still so insistent on getting their hands tattooed as their first tattoo? I definitely think there's something to say culturally about an older generation telling you no and then doing it anyway. Like there's that like rebellious spirit that's like, I don't care what you say, I'm gonna do what I want. And a lot of TikToks echo this, I don't care what you say, I'm gonna do what I want type of energy. It's kind of like millennials getting tattoos in the first place and how that was against what their parents wanted for them. It's the same cycle repeating generation after generation. 
And there definitely is a valid concern in that finger tattoos don't heal well over time. Hand tattoos need a lot of touch-ups. That area gets a lot of sun exposure. But I think if you understand all of the factors involved in getting a hand tattoo, I don't think it's a huge problem to get your hand tattooed. And there are a lot of artists that will tattoo your hands as your first or as one of your first few tattoos. And that's not to say that tattooers who will tattoo hands as their first tattoos like don't have integrity or like a moral compass. I think those tattooers are just accepting of how this culture has changed significantly for visible tattoos. And there's another reason that a lot of tattooers will bring up when they don't want to tattoo your hands is that they don't want to hinder your ability to get a job. And plainly, this is something that Gen Z just doesn't seem to care about whatsoever. In this TikTok, the caption is, it's okay, people already think too much anyways. In this one, the text says, you shouldn't get a tattoo on your hand, what about jobs? And the audio is like, I don't care. And honestly, that's fair. Like, I see why they say that. I feel like there's definitely more of like a nihilistic worldview that Gen Z has adopted that's a lot more dark than what the older generations grew up with. There's this recent article that was published in Psychology Today called, Have We Overburdened Gen Z with Fears of the Future? In the article, the writer says, what worries me about Gen Z is that they seem to see themselves as a doomed generation. The article argues that Gen Z has just everything against them, pretty much. They grew up with so much apocalyptic media, like The Hunger Games, Divergent, The Walking Dead. Gen Z is also labeled as the climate generation and has been traumatized by this issue. A lot of Gen Z speaks about apocalypse on the horizon, and they have a very real sense of powerlessness and despair. So for Gen Z, the world is literally crashing and burning down around them, and it has been as they've grown up. So with that in mind, I really understand this sense of carelessness when they're faced with the question, what are you going to do for a job in 10 years? Or that office job won't hire you with your hand tattoos. There's a sense that everything's going to come crashing down, so nothing matters anyway. If you want a hand tattoo because it's just fun and you think it'll look good, they feel like that's enough reason to get tattooed. So circling back to that TikTok we watched of Anthony Michaels being so critical of people getting their hands tattooed, Anthony made a response video with Inked Magazine addressing some of those comments. Anthony Michaels here, the gatekeeper. I made a comment about people having tattoos on their hands and necks and they don't have tattoos anywhere else. I think that's that's what the question was. Yeah, it turns out you guys were furious. Some of you believe you're a tattooer, do what I want. Uh, bro, I'm a f human. I'm a f do what I want, as you should as well. The belief that you want to present yourself in that way and you have not respectfully experienced getting tattooed and your reason is you just want to look cool you want your hand to look cool when you're shaking somebody's hand or whatever man that is fine guy we don't have the same belief about tattooing we don't have the same purpose in it that's all and i don't love anthony's choice of words but i do agree with his general comment it's okay that you as an individual want to get your hand tattooed first, but it's also okay for tattooers to choose what and where they want to tattoo people. Some of the comments kind of came around to this idea. Someone said, hand and neck tattoos without any other tattoos can look weird. I do kind of agree with that, but that's just personal preference. How dare a tattoo artist have their own opinion on their craft? Tattoo artists are artists first. They get to choose if they place their art. If you come across a tattooer that feels morally obligated to deny you your hand tattoo, you don't really want to get tattooed by that person in the first place because you don't share the same vision. And you want to go to a tattoo artist who shares your vision and wants to work with you. And I guarantee you that you can find that tattoo artist. And with that, I would love to know what you think about this whole debate over hand tattoos. Do you think that tattoo artists should feel obligated to tattoo whatever their client wants because they're the paying customer? Or do you think it's okay for tattoo artists to have these regulations on what they tattoo? Let me know in the comments down below. Once again, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, their link will be in the description box down below. Definitely check them out. But if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you have, leave me this emoji in the comments so that I know that you are a real one. Bye, everyone.